The McLaren 570S is a sport car designed and manufactured by McLaren Automotive. It was first unveiled at the 2015 New York International Auto Show, with pricing to be offered under $200,000 for the US. It is not the most affordable car in its segment, but for those seeking a more exotic alternative option will want to consider the 570S. The McLaren 570S is an all-new model for 2016 and is to be powered by a new iteration of 3.8-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine already used in the McLaren 650S and P1. Designated with 30% of parts redesign, a range in the car as a rear mid-engine configuration, it will deliver 562 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque through a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox, which is the only transmission available. The 570S was also inspired by the McLaren P1 supercar, slimline light blade LED taillights accentuate an expanse of open mesh for enhanced engine cooling and a technical futuristic appearance. The mid-mounted engine is visible beneath the lightweight mesh, while an aggressive floating diffuser enhances downforce for supremely confident handling. The Sport Series 570S also shares its carbon fiber construction with its Formula 1 and supercar cousin. The Monocell 2 is a strong chassis that weighs just 75 kg and provides immense rigidity and stiffness that translate into outstanding dynamics. The lightweight construction coupled with a potent mid-mounted V8 engine that provides the best power-to-weight ratio of any sport car in its class. The 570S also features an all-aluminum twin turbocharged engine that is mounted extremely low in the chassis for enhanced agility. Up front, the first thing you will notice is the lightning that help accentuate the McLaren 570S, full automatically LED headlights with strikingly new design LED daytime running light, as well as LED turn signal light. The whole headlight assembly and LED turn signal light also looks a lot like the McLaren logo. Very cool looking headlight. Park assist as well as cornering light are also built into the front bumper. At the bottom, you see the aerodynamic lower front bumper that features a gloss black front splitter and air dams that direct vital air to the air intake located on each side as well as the engine compartment. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. And there you have the McLaren badge on the uh, hood. Very cool looking front ends. Now moving to the side, you see that this particular model I have here today comes with the 19 inch multi spoke lightweight fork sport alloy wheels and are exclusive to the 570S with 225 35 high profile sport tires. Behind the wheel is the set of huge carbon ceramic ventilator brake discs and the huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in black with McLaren lettering on it. Here is the carbon fiber side view mirror. I love the way it looks. And down here you have the 570S size skirt. And the side profile also features a very aggressive stance with great aerodynamic features. It also features carbon fiber side insert, which is a big yes for me. Air vents are also integrated into the side body, which direct air into the engine compartment. Rear wheels are one size bigger than the front. It is 20 inches and comes with 285-35 high profile sport tire as well. Behind the rear wheel is also the huge carbon ceramic ventilator brake disc as well as the dual brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are also painted in black with McLaren lettering on it. Braking system on the 570S can stop from 124 mph to 0 in just 413 feet and 62 mph to 0 in just 102 feet which is very impressive for a car with that much power. Now looking at the back, you quickly notice the iconic LED tail light that was inspired by those in the McLaren P1. LED tail light comes with integrated LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. Very beautiful tail light. At the bottom is the gloss black rear diffuser that frames the dual black tip exhaust with dual sound mode. Rear deflector and park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper.
very cool looking rear end and there you have the uh, McLaren logo on the rear spoiler and a look at the engine compartment with mesh insert super aggressive rear end and it looks a lot like the uh, one in the uh, McLaren P1 so the car does come equipped with smart access key system so with the key in your pocket just press the button located behind the door handle once to unlock I love that swing door from uh, McLaren the exterior color is known as McLaren orange featuring two-tone interior with black and orange leather and microfiber interior with carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims throughout very sporty interior now let's jump into the driver's seat start it up and see how it sounds so with your foot on the brake just push the start button to start So as you all know, this car has the rear mid-engine configuration. Under the hood is a 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine with 7-speed automated manual transmission, also known as dual clutch transmission. And it is the only transmission available and comes with steering wheel mounted pedal shifter. It is pushing out 562 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. Can hit from 0 to 60 in a fast 3.1 seconds and hit 124 mile per hour in just 9.5 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 204 mile per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 16 city, 23 highway, and 19 combined. Very impressive engine. So now that is a wrap for the engine specification. Now we're going to take a detailed look at the interior. So here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It comes with uh, Bowers and Wilkins speakers, as you can see. So both windows are fully automatic. And I don't know what that uh, button there is for. If you do know what it is, let me know in the comment section below. So the whole door panel is wrapped in microfiber for the most part and comes with uh, carbon fiber trims as well as orange contrast stitching as you can see and you have two buttons here on the door uh, panel as well if you know what it is let me know here you have the carbon fiber uh, door seal with my clearing lettering on it and there's the sport pedal There's the parking brake. So here's a closer look at the sport bucket seat with microfiber and leather insert and orange contrast stitching. And there you also have the McLaren logo embossed on the backrest. Now both front seats feature multi-power adjustable front seat with two position memory. The three spoke flat bottom design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black and orange leather with carbon fiber trims in the middle. Looks and feel very sporty. 
Behind the steering wheel, you also have the carbon fiber uh, pedal shifter. Looks very cool. Behind the pedal shifter on the right, you have the windshield wiper control. And over to the left, you have the uh, high beam control as well as the turn signal light control. And here's a closer look at the instrument cluster. It is all digital. I love the way it looks. Over to the left hand side, you have the circular air vent with a leather insert around it and orange contrast stitching. There you have the light control. And here's a closer look at the dash. The whole dash is wrapped in microfiber material with our orange contrast stitching as well. Now this particular model comes with the Bauer working surround sound system that will blow you and your passenger away with the sound quality. I love the upholstery material in the McLaren 570S. Now, located centrally on the dash here, you have the large uh, touchscreen display with microfiber as well as carbon fiber and aluminum trims around it. Like I said earlier, it is a touchscreen. So, just press the McLaren knob in the middle and you have your menu screen. Here you have your apps, browser maps, rear camera, user manual, voice command and the rear camera is not available without the ignition turning on so on the menu screen again you see you have your phone, media, radio and uh, all kind of different menus and down here you have a cup holder and you also have plenty of carbon fiber trims on the center console so here you have the start and stop engine button in the ESC handling mode as well as the powertrain mode there you have the auto start stop, active and launch control, and here's your gear shift uh, selector, drive, neutral and reverse, and there's the uh, emergency hazard light. You have cup holders here, and center storage compartment you have USB auxiliary input as well as a 12 volt power plug. So here's a look at the dash once again. Uh, I don't think there's a uh, glove box compartment here for this model. But on top you have Alcantara insert, two position memory sitting, and two position memory sitting for the driver as well. Alright now let's fold down the front seat and see what we have in the back. Look like you have some storage compartment. Not much uh, space in the back at all. But that's the look at the engine compartment and I love the way the back seats look. It is made with a gloss black material and I love the orange seat belt that goes really well with the interior. So gas cap is located on the driver's side. With the door unlocked just push it in to open. And it does require premium unleaded fuel only. Overall the 2016 McLaren 570S is a super sport car with sitting for two passengers. It is the most affordable car for the McLaren brand and I think they really did a great job with this vehicle and I'm pretty sure it will attract a lot more people to its brand. The front cabins however are very sporty looking with great upholstery material and nicely carbon fiber trims and silver accent trims all around. And front passenger seats are very spacious. It is really low sitting in the uh, front seat. And again, very nice looking uh, front cabin. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2016 McLaren 570S. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting everyone know what you guys think about the McLaren 570S compared to other vehicles in its class. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.